What's going on, you guys? Chaos Lord David here. Welcome to part five of our of our, blah, 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 of our <laughs> let's play of Crash Bandicoot 2: Cortex Strikes Back. In the last part, we tackled levels seven through nine: Aircrafts, Barrett, and uh, Crash Crush. Excuse me. Now we're gonna start off this part with level ten: the Eel Deal. And judging by the uh, uh, the uh, door, the entrance, the entrance door. It's a uh, pipe, so this is the first sewer level of the uh, of the game, and I thought these levels are actually pretty cool. I actually dig, I actually dig the music and uh, just by how it looks. Now, normally I'll be able to spin in, uh, one of these enemies into 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 the fan to be able to uh, make it lose one of its blades, but I guess it's probably. But since I missed, it didn't work. Now. Uh, this uh, the sewage is actually getting electrified, of course, due to that electric eel. So you got you got to be able to uh, keep a lookout for those and these little sewer mouse-looking things. Oh goodness, goodness gracious! How did I not touch that little sewer rat? <laughs> but anyway, this uh, level has 79 boxes. I forgot to mention that. Oh, are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, I'm guessing I'm going the wrong way. I'm, there's um, a couple of extra stuff in these uh, forks. Ah, yes. Um, this level has the green gem, which is the uh, third colored gem, and that we can get. And uh, to, in order to get the green gem, here's a little in hidden entrance. You see this pipe here? You, you may be thinking we can't get there. Well, I just said it. There's a hidden entrance, hidden doorway, pathway, like so. Bam. So now we're gonna uh, go through this pipe and uh, just tackle the secret. The secret, and the secret, of course, is the green gem. So we gotta get all the way to the end and uh, be careful of the uh, electric eel. Oh shoot! Oh, <laughs> that was close right there. Pretty close. And lo and behold, there is the green gem, our third color gem collected so far. Oh sh! Oh, that was close. I hate that. I hate that electric eel. That electric eel is so annoying. They are always annoying. Gotta watch out for those toxic, those barrels of toxic. Get out of here! Yeah. Okay, so we just gotta walk back through here, and uh, you gotta stick all the way to the to the edge, to the uh, edge, so you don't touch any of the nitro crates. And uh, you gotta <laughs> basically just jump around, jump around the nitro crates, so you don't jump them like a boss. Now, uh, I mean, you could of course do this. I guess you can't do. Uh, PS3 analog sticks um, uh, with this. I thought you could. But anyway, if you were using a uh, analog controller, if you were playing this on the PS1, um, this game is uh, analog support. Uh, supports analog sticks, and one of the uh, first games that actually supported the analog sticks, um, the DualShock, the DualShock analog controllers. And uh, surprisingly, I actually still have those. Still have the uh, con old controllers that we first got. And um, but anyway, the, the thing is, um, uh, the thing of Crash is that a pretty unique feature that when they, when they brought the analog uh, sticks to this game is that if you uh, push up on the joystick a little bit, you can make Crash walk. So it's a pretty good, pretty cool feature. They tried to, uh, that was when uh, Nintendo and uh, Microsoft would also try to make the analog controllers. That's where it kind of made it stand out in terms of the gaming world. Because I know the uh, Nintendo Nintendo uh, did did uh, did stuff like that with the Nintendo 64 with the analog sticks. They just kind of just kind of went through there with like the GameCube and the uh, and then so forth with and even with today's systems. And here's the crystal. So uh, we got some Wumpa fruit to collect here. Look at crashing up all that Wumpa fruit. Num 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 num. <laughs> got some more metal crates. Or crashes hard head. <laughs> Crash must really have a hard head to body slam through. And not to mention he's like he has like his mouth wide open when he's body slamming. Oh boy. <laughs> Can't believe I did not touch that rat also. I'm just missing a lot of rats. Uh, I was trying to line it just right. Damn these stupid rats. I hate these guys. I hated them so much. And here we got even more crates. I hated those guys so much. I am failing so hard at getting hit. I'm getting hit so easily. As, I mean, look. I mean, look at Crash when he's belly flopping. He has his mouth open. 
I wonder if that would... I bet that would really hurt if you were, someone was actually dumb enough to do that. I bet he would have a very bad day. I mean, literally. Okay, so we got 77 lives. I'm feeling lucky now. Let's see if I don't die. I'm feeling lucky tonight. Good thing it's on my uh, day off, so finally. Anyway, we broke the uh, uh, nitro switch, so all the nitro crates, crates have been destroyed. We got 76 boxes. We gotta wait until this little lamp. Uh, I uh, we gotta wait until this little, these little spiky lamps walk pa pass by. Cause if you touch them, then you're dead. I also liked how they made him uh, 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 swing on the pipes. It's pretty cool. It was pretty cool also. And, uh, I, this is, I was just, like I said, I was just completely blown away with all the stuff that they, uh, improved with, uh, from, uh, Crash 1. So, uh, I mean, this is one of those games that just completely blew you away. Well, I guess I wasn't feeling lucky like that. Jeez. Yes, I can't slide jump. I thought I could always slide jump that past that. Well, I wish you had another... Another failed death. Oh man, I need to get my groove on. But I'm not gonna let this dude kill me. No. I wonder if I can get my. Well, I got my 77 boxes. Let's see if I can get my 77 lives. There it is. Look at that. Double seven sevens across the board. Who's feeling lucky now? Okay, so let me see. I may as well just do a regular jump. Because um, I thought if I did a regular jump, I would have a better chance of hitting those light lamps. But oh well, it worked. <laughs> well, that luck saved me this time. And we are completely done with that level. No more double seven sevens. Pair, double pair. Oh well. I was being lucky, too. Well, anyway, we got the ten crystals. And uh, we may, well, we don't have every single gem yet. So we have to uh, find a, a secret to get to air crash. Because that's the only uh, gems that we're missing thus far. But look at that, three colored gems. Beautiful. Mario crashes dance and get another communication from Cortex. Ten of twenty-five crystals. You're on your way. I'm running low on power, so communication from this point will be difficult. Again, be wary of the pathways between warp rooms. Remember, I'm counting on you. Sure you are. You can tell by that look. He's like, eh, I don't really give a fuck about you. I don't give a fuck about you. I wish you were dead. <laughs> but anyway, now we're going to go to fight the second boss. Or should I say, bosses. The Komodo Brothers, Joe and Mo. Now, this was one of the boss fights that I just c completely loved. Couldn't, I had to show off that laugh. Because that laugh was just more childhood memories. But anyway, uh, this was one of my probably one of my all-time favorite boss fights throughout the entire Crash series. This 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 boss fight was actually pretty fun. But uh, the uh, the uh, fat one that's throwing the sword that's Komodo Mo. Of course, the one that is like bouncing up and down while he's sitting down that's Komodo Joe. And the one that's getting spit spun around that's Komodo Joe. So uh, tell you guys um. Since I said their names, I thought you were like, I thought you were like, well, who's who, David? Well, I just told you. So now we're gonna have to do the dance of death. Well, not really, because it's really easy to dodge these swords. I mean, it goes into a very slow, circular pattern, so it's very easy to dodge. But this part can get pretty tricky. Now, not only Joe is spinning, you gotta dodge uh, uh, Mo's swords that he's gonna throw at you. So that's where things will get a, a little tricky. But that's it. And bam! That's the boss fight for you. It's a pretty fun one, nonetheless. <laughs> Look at Crash. He's going right through Mo's arm. <laughs> or maybe he's under it. But it looks like he's going through it. And they're just sitting still. <laughs> they're just frozen like as, uh, as if time stood still. What the heck, dude? And now we're in the third warp room. The sewer warp room. Now we're going to get yet another communication from Cortex. No lighting. Good show, Crash. The Komodo brothers obviously lacked your medal. But now is not the time to get cocky. There are still many crystals to obtain. Remember, the world is counting on you. <laughs> it kind of looks like he's like, I don't care about the world. He's like, uh, yeah, let's save the world. But now, <laughs> now we're going to start off 
Level 11. Plant food. Now this is the uh, uh, last um, uh, stream level. Stream level in the game. Now the stats of this level, there are, I believe, 57 boxes. Uh, I mean, of course I'll have the correct stats, but if I'm if I'm remembering correctly, there are 57 boxes, I think. But I'm not going to get the box gem just yet. Oh, I'm wasting time. Because the thing about this level is that this, this, this level has the fourth colored gem, the yellow gem. And, if, I mean, you couldn't really tell about the uh, yellow gem at the uh, start because of the uh, entrance door was yellow. And, of course, I forgot about those mines. Ah, uh, jeez. Here we go again. But anyway, the uh, doorway was yellow. It kind of matched the, how the uh, box gem would look, and from matching the color of the color of the doors. So it's kind of it was kind of, it's kind of tough to tell if that is really a yellow gem, but it really is. So, uh, and the thing about to get the yellow gem is, of course, like uh, back in Hang Eight, where we got the uh, Hagen Clear gem, we have to get to the end of the level uh, um, before the time expires. So uh, we have to go as fast as we can and try to take it easy because of these stupid mines and the stinking whirlpools. Ah, I am failing so hard! Ugh, jeez. I mean, I could have just gotten hit by that mine because I would still be alive, but I was trying to do it in the fast way possible. I mean, because I, because this level can be pretty, because this level can be pretty tricky to try and get the yellow gem on. You just gotta try to find the uh, best route, and, and you, you're really gonna need the Akuaku masks because there, there are some pretty tricky parts in this level. Pretty tricky, I, I will say. But I need to. Uh, Avoid the waterfall, whirlpools, and mines. Cause I need. You're gonna need the Aku Aku masks to help you out. They're a big help. So, okay, you may as well take it easy. So, just to make sure. And uh, may as well just say no to the piranha plants. Jump over you. But I may as well just get the wampa fruit in exchange. But <laughs> so much combo is going on. But this part can be a bit tricky. So you're gonna need the Aku Aku masks to get through those piranha plants. Oh. Those piranha plants are annoying. That last one, anyway. Okay, this is the part that I hate. This is the tricky part right here. You gotta get through those piranha plants. Damn it, dude. And I hate this one right here. I hate this last one. Okay, good. Good, good, good. But yeah, those last piranha plants are the annoying ones. So here we are at the end of the level. Let's draw yo. Oh, ho, 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 ha! Not this time, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna walk out of here with the yellow gem, so nice try, clock. You thought you had me, but you never had me, so suck on that. <laughs> okay. Well, and now, now we got the crystal and the yellow gem, so got four of the five color gems so so fast. <laughs> but now we just gotta go back in there and get the clear gem. The box gem, that is, after we admire Crash's dance. Now we're gonna go right back in there. Because this would be the good time to stop after we get the, the box gem. And you know, I've been actually been kind of uh, pissed about YouTube recently. I mean, since it's now uh, owned by Google+, the videos are taking like almost nearly a day to process. It's just, ugh. It never took that long to process a simple video. Not even the uh, uh, quality I'm uh, uh, ex exporting it to, not even depending on the length of the video. But it's just now taken nearly a day to fully process a stinking video. It's just completely retarded. I've, I mean, it's just like YouTube needs to really fix their stuff. And they need to do it uh, uh, now. Because, like I said, this is... Just having to wait almost an entire day for, it, for, it to get, get, for the video to be completely done is really ridiculous. Nothing, nothing, nothing... Nothing more said than that. Oh, you miss me. <laughs> There's nothing else to say about that. It's just, it just takes forever. It feels like an eternity for your simple video that would normally take like, uh, until whenever it finishes the uh, time it needs to upload, that's when it would be completely done. But now it takes you like a, take like, like I said, it takes nearly a day for it to completely be done. But I mean, because I'm trying to upload this uh, little 20 second clip um, and it's still taking like half a day it's still processing as I speak so I upload I, uh, I uploaded it in, in the morning and uh, it's still processing as I speak so it's just ridiculous 
Because they need... Because YouTube really needs to get their stuff together. They really do. I mean, it's just really annoying to have to wait that long. Ah, uh, this didn't run plants. I hate those. I hate them. I'm hoping I'm not getting the box count wrong. Because I remember I think it was 57. If I mess up, then I'm sorry. I mean, that's just another thing. I haven't played this game in a while, so... I may not know everything. But at least I'm getting close to that number, so... If I get the wrong number, then... Yeah, you can tease me all you want. That's just... Me forgetting a lot of stuff. But let's see if I'm right. Let us see if I'm right. We're gonna need any levels. Something tells me I'm wrong. 53, of course. <laughs> I was wrong. Womp, womp, womp. Oh well. At least we got the box gem. But yeah, I do remember one of the other levels in this warp room being 57 gems. Or er, 57 gems. 57 boxes. 57 gems. Wow. <laughs> There's not that many, not even that many gems in this game. <laughs> I cannot talk. And yes, I did fail on the gem, on the box count. I can, still can't talk, jeez. On the box count I failed, but oh well. But I do remember where the 57 come, uh, on, I know what level the 57 is, but that's, I will show you guys that level in the next part. Because this is going to do it for this part. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, uh, Part 5 of our Let's Play of Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. And I will see you guys in the next part where we tackle more of this warp room. So, <laughs> the warp room. The rest, more of this warp room. There you go. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this part. And I will talk to you guys later. Take it easy.